Alright, hello everyone. It's your boy, your fam, Hero here. This is my first time talking to you guys. Any pog champ? Any poggers in chat? Alright, just kidding. Just comment down below, man. Alright? In this video, as I promised, I'm sharing one of my experiences playing Merchantry. This was pre recorded like 9 days ago, I guess, 17th of August. So uh, it was me playing on phone. So I'm talking to you guys in laptop in PC now so it's it will move s smoother I think I guess all right before we start I would like to share why merchant tree man because merchant tree is like the best content for me at least till date you can get so many resources you can get premium crystal chassis you can get lower trials passes you can get boss stamps and so on so, all right let's start so firstly when you enter merchant tree you will enter a town which you ended up before so in the last run uh example for me like in the first run you ended up in Ephoria, like me uh in this video was like my second run of the day so i was uh ended up in Ephoria, and then i start up in Ephoria. like me you'll be starting the next run in Ephoria as well okay here's what you need to do and memorize first one Check the trade goods in your town. Okay, this was what I did, and what uh, this was like the best case for me. Okay, like the you need to check the three blue blue goods in your first town to sell in your next town, and all of my three blue goods are selling in Chalpion, which is why I'll. I don't go to bear to trend or whatsoever okay so I just uh, go to the nearest town and sell uh, as many as possible okay let's continue so you need to check the blue goods first then only you can buy the specialty goods always fill up your wagons with the blue goods first because they sell more they sell the, the best profit okay Usually, my route is, uh, like I said, I'm making my routes now, so it was like too fast. But my route is always Everia, Florin, Chalpion, and then Delphi Outpost, a Glitch Heidel, Velia, and last but not least, Western Guard Camp. And in this video, I am dividing it, uh, I divided it into four runs. So my wagon has had like 25k if I'm not mistaken then I need to spend 20k so I need to uh, save at least 5k for my next run okay you need to divide it thoroughly divide it evenly okay like I did before you need to check the roots before uh, you can't just auto all the way man because this is like the early, still the earlier stage of merchantry you need to do it manually okay don't auto all the way if i auto all the way i would like uh go the left the left side which i will end up only get, get one event but i can i could like i could go way more i could go to the right side which i spent more food on but i got more events that's why you need to think it thoroughly in merchantry. Like spend the food wisely. Okay? And it's if it's like this, 15 seconds, you, you don't need to wait. Just go to the to the next town, Chalpion City. And if you noticed noticed, uh, I skipped Florin. And I will show you why. Because I can go one more town further from my uh, I will show you later why. Then now you go to the trade shops, selling your blue goods, selling your specialty if you can. Right, you buy food first, then you sell. Then this is the next important thing. Okay, you need to check your task reward because at, for every uh, 10m, 10m silvers that you get, you can get 100k more. So you need to send it uh, uh, 56, 56 so you can get uh, the 100k i'm the stingy stingy player man so 100k is 
even matter for me. So like I was saying, the exchange if your rapper is maxed maxed out, you can trade all the goods. Okay, I was very lucky here. The, like the all the good, blue goods are selling in my route, so I don't need to go like bear or trend. Honestly, like bear or trend are really really bad, man. Because like especially in trend, if I'm mistaken, because it's like one one city only. Okay, let's continue again in the route back to the track. So like uh, you saw before, like, uh, I actually didn't go with the outer route because it is kind of bad. I think it was only had like one event. That's why I'm going the upper side of the champion to Delphi Outpost, the route, so I could I could get more events. It is worth it, even though I think if I'm second, mm, you need to spend 1.5k foot more if you go to the upper side of the champion exit to Delphi Outpost, rather than you go all the way out to all the way. Right, you can get a lot more events, but I think I'm wasting. I was wasting my foot here. Uh, I shouldn't have. Done this event because it was just just a waste of food, but it's fine. It's fine. It's just like one mistake out of all your many good uh, good events you will go through. Okay, it's fine. Then, like, like I said before, let me continue. Okay, it's like bear or trend are like really, really bad because they have only one town. Uh, Kaplan, Kaplan is really, really bad because they only have a southeast champion. They have only one town, which is Kaplan, of course. Then you can't go to the other next town, to the other nearest town, because you need to go all the way with the same route. Same route, okay? You can't fulfill your food. You can't sell anything there. And uh, I don't know why PA is making the route like that. You know, like the Kaplan can't go to Delphi Outpost. Right, if you can, I think it's it. It maybe is worth it, but it's not. It's not worth it. You need to go from Champion, Delphi Outpost, Serendia, and lastly in Avelia. Only those route matters. Only those route are important. The continue gain. This is kind of boring. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward a bit to save our time, of course. Okay, go again. Go to Delphi Outpost again. It's it it is pretty simple, okay. So like, it's like real life, you know. Like the food is like your, uh, your purchase, and the trade goods are your uh are your selling selling trade goods. You need to spend uh, minimally, but you need to sell uh, maximally. Is that the the true proverb? I don't know, but it works like that. Uh, why you need to go bear or trend or Kaplan, which was which is so far away, when you can go, when you can just go to this route, which is really really near to each other, and sells to each other. Okay. All right. Uh, I got another frequently asked questions as well. Uh, like what if like your first town don't sell the goods that you need for the next like, example like for my first town uh, Averia doesn't, doesn't sell any uh, goods any blue goods in Florian or Champion I'll keep resetting how to reset okay so you just leave the merchantry and enter it again until those three blue goods or two two out of three i think it's already worth it uh have goods that sell in your roots have trade goods that sell in champion or florin okay so like i'll like always just go out of town keep checking your task rewards 
for the 100k silver from your 10m profit keep going all the way just like always and combat the combat mm, combat levels is really important now uh, nine days ago my combat levels was 151 and usually the combat events provide the highest silver actually search search event but search event pro uh, like really like only three parents or, or two parents it's like the hardest life skill to train you know like see my search level was only 296 and my merchant tree was already level 50 with that low search level okay and usually this route is the most important route of my route of my area until failure because they usually have this, the the maximum oh, I was checking black first here yeah. the maximum events here have the really uh, like many events here and even the you know the I forgot what do we they call the bypasser merchant the bypasser merchant you can sell and buy black crystal chassis here near here but they he didn't pop up here so it's fine but usually this this route uh, has the most event out of all routes that's why I recommend you guys to use your elixir here but this time since it didn't have any any events any any like purple events so you don't you d I, I didn't use any elixirs and I didn't have any elixirs as well okay and goes to Serendia we can fast forward it a bit loading screen and we are going to glacier I'll, I'll show you okay I'll I'm sure you guys why you don't go out from from glitch from Delta outpost to glitch because they uh, we had like the best route from the lake we and the lake usually had more events especially in this video oh i met yuri here what up boy what up fam and the later i think the later part of the day or the next day or the day after i forgot we did merchant trip together from leash to hydro Okay, we can fast forward a bit. Okay, we can cut the route here in Glish. We can cut it through the lake, which costs less food than if you go from the route, the usual route, the auto route. Okay. Keep continuing. Do all the events near, uh, nearest to you. And as I said before, like because I skipped Florin, I could go to Velia. Maybe uh, because like I have, I still have eleven K food, so I can spend six K more. I can spend six K more food, and like the distance from Glitch to Heidel, and then to from Heidel to Velia to Western Guard Camp doesn't cost that much food if I went to Florin I would have ended up in glitch instead in Heidel instead okay but let's see let's see it's just my prediction I, I actually forgot where I ended up but my prediction I could I can end up in Western Guard camp which is like the end of the of my merchant trade route I skipped Florian so that I can skip I can no I, I can go for further two towns furthermore further okay so like like skip a town to go further a town or even two towns like I did yeah keep going and usually like the roads to from glitch to Heidel has a lot of events as well 
can go use your elixir here. I usually use my elixir here and from Delphi Outpost to Glacier. They usually provide the a lot of events. And I suggest you guys don't to do not uh, waste too much food in Velia because they don't really have many good events except like the the right part of Velia, right? But you actually it is not in our route. It's not like along alongside uh, our nearest route. That's why you need to go all the way. You need to round all the way. And it spends a lot of food than you should you shouldn't have spent. Which is kinda bad, okay? Keep going, keep going. Then I'll like I'll fast forward a bit. Uh, we we don't I didn't auto here I think I'm on manual because the later part of the route had like three more events better than the upper part of the route. Keep going, keep going again, and as you can see with. 17k 16.5k food that I spent I got 11 merchantry box already and this is like only one run one run only you can like times it with four you can get like 50 or so and it's fine uh, like going astray a bit like I did before like I did this I went astray from my root a bit to do the mining events and if your worker skill are high or, or not even high or you can uh, just skip it okay you need to do every events nearest to you as many as possible that's it that's how merchant train works I like more events more silvers more resources more boxes and you go to the trash shop again and since, like I said before, I need to save at least 5k for my next run, right? I still have like 7.5k, so I can spare 2.5k food. Then I can I could buy the food. I still have 9k food now. I still have 9k food now. Then I can spare 4k to my trip to Velia for more profits. And you can actually like s stop at this point if you don't like. I'm afraid like my last last run won't be four asses, so I need to, to like save more food. It's fine, but I decided in this video to go to Valley efforts. Like this is why this is how you do. You divide your merchant tree into four runs. Like do it equally. I expand the food equally. Like theoretically, like my wagon had like twenty five food, twenty five k food. Then you need to like the total food, total food that I had in this video was like eighty point two k. So I need to spend like at least twenty k per run. Alright, alright, keep going. I'll fast forward it a bit. Okay, I went astray a bit, but it's fine. Okay, keep going, keep doing your events, your nearest events as many as possible. And if you see it thoroughly, like uh, every time you finish finished an event, finishes an event, you get seventy five foot. But like if you uh, move like twenty meters or, or so, you will spend around a hundred and forty foot. And if you uh, stay stay in your place for 
3 seconds or 5 seconds you will spend 50 of your food so like going extra a bit for 75 minus 50 food 25 food with uh, more with uh, with more rewards and 25 food is worth it this is what this is what I said before also like the later the right part of Elia usually has a lot of events but this time it, it isn't okay you need to observe your roots gain but since uh, like I'm running low on food like I can only spend 1k left so I could just go out all the way and it's fine like Excel you use the acceleration even though it's near it's near of your place uh, right now because it spends the same food as if like you walk normally like I get more of trials and passes and in the exchange if you if your if you can exchange uh, a worth a worthier what, what is that? Uh, resources you can just exchange them in the exchange merchant in the trade shop I mean guess keep checking your trade goods also and after you done yeah you're done just go to the next town keep checking your roots again in this I will I think I'm going to the purple events it's it is worth it because it is like they're nearest to yellow right I can go like the triangle triangle route here I'll man manual here I think because it spends oh, oh oh I did it because I forgot the like the food that I have I can only spend 500 more so I don't go to the to those routes it's fine like with uh, you need to save equally so like usually like the last run has the least amount of food right in your your fourth run that's why I'm saving my food okay 16 16 boxes already it's still good still good Okay, go to the trade shop again, then you sell. Buy food, then check the task reward again, like me. I'm a stingy player, you know. Sell three, okay, nice. Go to the task reward again. Sell your uh, seller goods again, sell your blue goods again. Until it is none left. Okay, it's finished. Just like that, easy, easy, isn't it? So, I got okay. I got four asses in my second run, and I got sixteen merchant boxes in uh, four orange boxes and twelve yellow boxes. Not to mention the purple, the uh, the blue, the green boxes, and. I actually counted it in a day you could get like I can get I can get like six to seven M seven million si silvers from the purple uh, blue and green boxes because they have like so many silvers you know and boss times as well the total rewards is was 24 ancient tablets 30 coins nine boss times and you can just times it by four because I divided it into four rounds right I still had like 5.3k food but, uh, oh yeah I forgot to mention why I actually divided into four because I had 80k food right 80.2k 80.2k so I need to spend uh, like 20,050 food per runs 
That's why I have approximately like save 5k food per run for your next run. And why ha what, what if my merchant tree level is, is lower, like maybe four, 40s or so? You can just go 3 runs. You can go 3 runs from Everia to Velia, then Velia to Everia again. You, you can't. Uh, if I. Like I mentioned before, if I stopped in Florian, I would have ended up in Glish. But because I skipped Florian, I could go to Velia. But if you are going 3 runs, like example you have like 75k food in your wagon in your total wagon you can spend 25k you can spend all the food right you can just go to the valley every again then like the remaining food you can go for the next day you can save it for the next day right that's it thank you for watching everyone i'm sorry if it's boring because it's my first time it's my debut man but so if you have any complaints any advices any comments any pock champs you can comment down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe all right see you guys on the next video bye bye